Test data management typically involves working with large production databases and multiple interrelated databases, which come with numerous challenges. Our platform is designed to handle these challenges efficiently. Let's dive into how we facilitate this process. In test data management, we often deal with privacy-sensitive data. As with standard de-identification, you would start by de-identifying the most sensitive columns in your database. You can do this by navigating to the PII tab, running a PII scan, and then de-identifying the columns identified by the scan using the suggested settings. You can go through this process one by one until you are satisfied with the applied settings. Additionally, you can add custom PII columns that you consider sensitive. Ensuring consistency of de-identified data across different systems is another crucial challenge in test data management. This consistency allows you to test and proceed with your test cases seamlessly. We handle this by preserving key relationships across your tables automatically using the foreign keys feature. For instance, in the allergies table, there are two relationships with other tables in the database. Our platform ensures these relationships are preserved in the generated data. Beyond key columns, we also need to maintain consistency in non-key columns. For example, in the city column with values like Boston. If we want to de-identify this column while ensuring that Boston is consistently mapped to the same output value, we can do so by selecting the column and applying a city mocker. Initially, this generates random mock values, but by enabling the consistent mapping feature and previewing the values, we ensure that Boston is consistently replaced with the same new value. This is essential for maintaining consistency across tables and systems. Handling large amounts of data is another significant challenge in test data management. Production databases often contain vast quantities of data. For example, we might have a table with 2.15 billion records. Our platform is equipped to handle such large data sets efficiently and optimize processing speed. One way to achieve this is through parallel processing. In the advanced generation settings, you can set the number of connections to increase parallelization, allowing multiple tables to be processed simultaneously. Adjusting read and batch sizes can also enhance processing speed. Balancing these parameters with hardware capabilities enables efficient handling of large databases. These are some typical scenarios in test data management that our platform addresses, ensuring efficient and effective handling of your test data needs. Let's explore rule-based synthetic data. This feature is useful when you need to define custom logic to populate columns with data. This could be necessary for testing specific rules or when you don't have any production data available. In such cases, you can use our rule-based integrator features, particularly the calculated columns. For example, let's define logic to fill the first name column based on values in the prefix column. In this prefix column, we have values like Mr. and Mrs. We want to fill the first name column with a male name when the prefix is Mr. and with a female name when the prefix is Mrs. How do we do this? First, we go to our rule-based data feature, which is the calculated column, and start writing an if statement. Here we have various functions available to define our logic, but we'll use a basic if statement. We'll specify that if the prefix column equals Mr., we will apply a male first name mocker. If the prefix is Mrs., we will apply a female first name mocker. When we preview the values, we can see that based on the prefix, the first name column is populated accordingly. This allows us to create custom logic for our data. We can use a similar approach for columns without any data, such as the suffix column. Let's fill it based on the prefix column again. We go to the calculated column and write another if statement. We specify that if the prefix column contains Mr., we will fill this column with a male suffix value. Otherwise, we will fill it with a female suffix value. Previewing the values, we can see that the suffix column is now correctly populated. Using these techniques, we can flexibly fill our database with relevant data for testing purposes based on the logic and rules we've defined. One of the key challenges in test data management is handling large data volumes. When working with production databases, you often encounter very high volumes of data, which can be difficult to manage. To address this, we offer a subsetting feature that allows you to shrink your high volume database into a referentially intact subset. This process is more complex than it might seem. 
It's not just about reducing the size of tables. It's also about preserving the relationships between tables. Here's how it works. You can select the number of rows to generate for a particular table. For instance, if your original table has over 2 billion records and you want to reduce it, you can specify the desired number of rows. Let's say you want 100,000 rows as output. Our platform will automatically adjust the related tables accordingly, ensuring all relationships are maintained. Our platform handles this by examining the foreign keys in the database. For example, if you look at the allergies table, you'll see it points to the patient's table. When we reduce the size of the patient's table, the allergies table is also proportionally reduced. This is how our subsetting feature works to manage your database effectively while preserving the integrity of your data relationships. If you have any questions or anything you would like to share, feel free to reach out to us via our website or schedule a live demo with us. Thank you for watching.